You have made it to part three of my makeup decluttering video thing series. Yay! <laughs> so if you have not watched part one or part two yet, I will link them in the info box below. And if you just came from part two, well then, hello. <laughs> We're almost done. This is probably the last part of the makeup decluttering video. And there will be more decluttering videos because I have a lot of shit. So uh, yeah, please proceed with the video and I'll see you in the next decluttering video. So. And this is my current mascara. Uh, it's pretty good actually. Uh, I would repurchase it and I would recommend it. I like the way it makes my lashes look. Very long and separated and a little bit thick. And it is waterproof and it holds my curls pretty well. So yeah, I might repurchase it. But I always go through like different mascaras all the time. So yeah, I, I, I would just recommend it to try it out if you guys are interested. So yeah. So this is the Bubby Dual Cover Brush, and I do like it. I do use it when I use concealer. Uh, but the thing is, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, when I wash it, I just wash the tip, and then I, I leave it to dry like this, okay? Like, I don't let the water drip down into the ferrule. I let it drip out. So I don't really understand why this happened. I'm 99% sure I got, like, a bad batch, but, you know, whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this. So these are the other brushes from the Bubby brush set and honestly I only use the Bubby detail brush every so often, not that often, kind of rarely but I do use it and these other brushes I don't use at all so I'm gonna get rid of them. And actually let me just mention, um, so I mentioned that I use the sculpting brush to apply my BB cream, um, my Leo Ali Dollish CRV CC cream and Leo Ali Dollish, uh, V Veal Vita BB Cream. Yeah, I use this brush to apply them and then I use the powder brush in general to, you know, just put pr powder? Prouder. <laughs> Prada and powder in one. This is the Becca One Perfecting Brush in the Limited Gold Edition and I love this for traveling and whatnot. Um, I would- ooh, look at all that powder and shit. I need to wash it. Uh, yeah, this is great for traveling. Mmm... I would just say that I don't like traveling with it. Um, you know, it doesn't come with its own carrying case. I actually have to keep the little cardboard box that I came in. And, you know, that's, you know, I don't like using that one because that can, like, get banged up pretty easily and break and whatnot. So, uh, I'm debating if I want to keep this or not. Like, it's a very cool, convenient brush, but not so, con con not so convenient in terms of traveling with it so um this is gonna be hard but i guess i will get rid of it i loved it though i recommend it um oh no but it's like in the limited gold edition oh my god see this is the problem that probably everybody has when they're trying to go through their stuff but be honest with yourself do you like it? Yes, I like it. But what's the problem with it? Traveling with it is annoying. And um, I will put this in the maybe pile because it is a good product. But I don't know. I guess I just have to figure out a way to travel with this where, you know, it will be in a protective case and not just like a flimsy cardboard case that it came in. So, yeah, I like this. And um, hmm, that's great. I love it. Keeping it, I guess, or in the maybe pile. So here we have a super duper adorable Kathy Doll Kabuki brush and I love it. It's so freaking cute. I do use it every once in a while. I love the stand and everything. But I don't know because the reason I don't use it that often is because it's so cute and I don't want to dirty it. But I feel like if I start using this then I will keep it. Plus it comes with its own stand so um, I feel like it won't collect dust as easily as the other ones that have the have their bristles exposed at the top if you know what I mean so I do like this I think I want to keep it so maybe pile so I guess I'll just talk about my other brushes so this is the body shop lip brush and I actually like using this for applying a uh, gel eyeliner um, I don't own any gel eyeliner right now um, but yeah, this is really, really good for gel eyeliner. I do highly recommend it. 
Um, I just feel like when a lip brushes are a lot denser and you have more control and everything and it's a lot better than actual gel eyeliner brushes and I've had this brush for about like five years now so still holding up really really well. I think I'll keep it! So these are the two brushes that come with the Naked 2 palette and this bottom one it came with the one that I got three years ago and this one is the one that's recently so uh, as you can see they changed kind of like the tint, the color and also the shape so this end is the same uh, but this end it's this one's a lot stiffer and I don't really utilize this one that much I like this a lot better for uh, smoking out or blending any transition colors and whatnot so I'm gonna be keeping the bottom one and I'm gonna be Returning this one with the Naked 2 palette that I'm also returning. So yeah, I love this brush. Hee 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 hee. I wish they would like, um, you know, bring it back instead of this brush because I don't like the new design. So this brush came with the Urban Decay Electric palette and I don't need it. I don't use it. So it's okay going back with the Electric palette as well. So moving on to these two. Um, okay, so this I use. I use it for my eyebrows and I use it to cut false eyelashes, so keep! And this is the Holika Holika Pore Cover Sealer. This is a primer and as you can tell, I do use it. I'm almost done. I'm not sure if I would repurchase. We will see. But yeah, I don't think I have to worry about this one because I am using it, so keeps! So this is the Leo Ali uh, Night Lip Balm and I do really really love this so I'm gonna keep this and I'm almost done anyway so it doesn't really matter and um, yeah I think I might repurchase this. Well actually I have a shit ton of lip balms so um, after I'm done all of those other lip balms then I will repurchase this. Yeah! This is the Leo Ali Auto Artist Eyebrow Pencil in number 2 Dark Brown and I love this shit to death so this is a total keeps! Dolly Wink Eyeliner. Love it. Keeping it. So these are the Ico eyeliners that I got off of Hot Look. They weren't the best. I had really high expectations because, you know, people always raved about them. But uh, they just didn't wow me. So, um, you know, I don't, you know, I don't have time to waste <laughs> to have like terrible eyeliner done. So I think I'm just going to get rid of these. So yeah, declutter my makeup stuff. Yeah. So uh, this is supposed to be a dual eyeliner pencil uh, but obviously I used it and I'm going to just continue finishing it. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase it just because Urban Decay eyeliners are quite expensive even though they're really good. I do recommend them if you are planning on getting them uh, but you know I have a lot of eyeliner already so I don't need to repurchase this but I'll finish it up and we'll be done! Yeah! <laughs> So this is the Leo Ali Quick Point Eraser. This is great for on-the-go touch-ups and whatnot. If like, you know, there's like a smudge or something and you don't have um, makeup remover on you, then, you know, this is great to have in your makeup bag. So yeah, um, I probably won't repurchase this just because I never touch up in public. And um, yeah, I'm done with it. So yeah, <laughs> I do recommend it though. It is a really good product, but yeah. Bye-bye. So these are all of the products that I will be getting rid of, and yeah! Uh, not proud of myself that I accumulated so much, but proud of myself that I'll be getting rid of them. So yeah, and here's what my <laughs> makeup collection <laughs> looks like so far. So I still have a lot of products like in terms of eyeliner and BB cream, and I'm also not too sure about these two. And I also ended up just wanting to store my false eyelashes into this little case instead of using this gigantic one. Yeah, um, it's awesome. I mean, I can store everything at the top now and I can just reach for it instead of like pulling out the drawer. Um, so the drawers are empty now and I guess I'll fill it up with my other stuff like maybe jewelry or lip balm or hair accessories or whatever might, you know, work inside there. But yeah, this is what I have so far and hope this inspired some of you <laughs> to, you know, go through your makeup collection and take out things that you don't need. So, um, a majority of these products are supposed to be for cosplay, but, um, the cosplay that I'll be doing, I'm going to be doing Challenger Ari, and she doesn't have any crazy eye makeup, she just has like a red lip and like 
red lenses so I don't need any of these like crazy colored stuff and if I do need it for a future cosplay then I'll get it then but for now I don't need any of these products so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye bye